Hi, everybody. Hi, my name is Holly Draper. And I am Sherne Altavis. And today we're going to show you how to repurpose fabrics, and specifically in car fabrics, for your holiday gift wrapping. <laughs> so this is what you'll be making. Yep, just like this. And um, yeah, let's get to it. Here we go. Uh, small box. Like if you you can't really get clothes in here, but you can get like a shirt, a tie, really small blanket, yeah. jewelry. You could do a whole set. Jewelry. In here. You could do a whole set in here. T-shirt. So it's, it's not really that big of a box, but it's a really good size box to start out with, especially if you're practicing. Mm -hmm. This box, again, is not the biggest, but we're going to start because it's supposed to be repurposing fabric anyway. Not You don't want to use all your fabric. You can use filler, filler fabrics or filler paper to tie all of the looks all together. I, I don't... Is this big enough? Yeah, okay. it is big enough. Perfect. So this is my scrap basket right here um so they can't oh they can't okay yes this is a scrap basket <laughs> full of lovely goodies so i repurpose a lot of things out of this basket so we're gonna wrap this box with i, I don't know how big i can measure it because i know a lot of some people wanted measurements so this fabric is about 22 by 17. So that's not big. Everybody probably has a scrap piece this big. And if you guys don't, you guys can head to my website. <laughs> right. <laughs> bag of scraps. Yes, bag of scraps. This is actually too big. So when I'm wrapping gifts, I always kind of measure first before I cut. So put it kind of in the middle. Some people tape right here. I don't because it can mess up this other cut back here. But you easily can measure with your hands by just folding it back and saving your spot. Where does the scissors go? Oh, right all right. So you can just start cutting. And the great thing that I like about Ankar, most Ankar fabrics is they are very linear, so. Mm -hmm. You can easily just cut across. And you know where to stay in your lines. Exactly. And you'll be good. One year I had paper that had like grid lines on the inside of it. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but like at Marshall's, they had paper where the grid lines was like inside. It was like perfect. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect so this is this way so you kind of know like okay this is the perfect amount it's going to flush you keep your your edge on the inside and now you want to do the next cut so you just don't want too much fabric because once you start getting into too much fabric that's what messes it up in the end different sounds. I know, right? I guess because you would normally be doing a double live if you weren't next to each other. Yeah, that's true. But this this is so cool how we have different angles. Like. Yeah, it is good. So this, so I always just hold right here because if you really mess up or if people want to save their fabrics or just, you just don't want it to be too hard to open up, especially when you're using fabric and hot glue. Yeah. So I just, I just hold right here and you just put a little line of Also, one glue. more thing, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom of the fabric, but this is how you know that you have the front of the fabric. Oh, yes. that's good. All right, so the thing with fabric and hot glue, like it's gonna be hot, but if you just use your thumb, you'll be fine. So then this is the back. So this is what the front will look like. So it's nice and tight. So I always start that way. Especially if you're doing like toys and stuff. Sometimes the back is the flattest. So you always want to use that. So you can get a nice 
this had a hole in the middle. Yeah, but yeah. you really can't tell. You can't tell. This is a tissue box, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't tell because you did it from this way. So right. it's really tight. And then I always, to get the perfect, perfect, perfect wrap, I always start from the two outsides like this. Mm -hmm. So if you can kind of see, they're touching. They don't have to touch. But then when you pull this down, and then you're going to put this up. So before you put the up, you're probably going to have to put the glue down. Just watch your fingers because it's real hot. Give it close up on the top camera. Top camera. Right here. Okay. So like this. And it's nothing wrong with adding more glue right where you need it. It's hot. <laughs> but it's fine. It's bearable. All right, so then that is the closure. Boom. And it's like perfect. So now this part is easier because you can't really see the top, but now you can use this part to balance yourself. Before it's a little hard because, you know, when you're wrapping, you're like doing all of this, <laughs> but now you can just kind of place it flat on the table or wherever lap. And you can do the same thing. So it's kind of going to be hard to show, but get those perfect angles. And sometimes, if you have too much fabric, it's not going to be a triangle. And then you can kind of cut at the top to get a squared off triangle, but it'll still give you that, that tight look. But that's all about measurement. If you don't get your measurement right, that's just what's going to happen. But because we got a measurement right, it's pretty clean. Were you guys able to see that? Yeah. Can't really read the comments on yours. So now you can either set this to the side, you can add a bow, you can add anything just about but we're going to add some ribbon and I'm going to just use white ribbon mm -hmm. yeah it will look good with white ribbon I think this one will look good with white ribbon I always cut my my um, ribbons on an angle I just think they look nicer sometimes when it's hard you have to like hold it on either side <laughs> and then you can get it And again, I like to measure before I cut because I've messed up so many different ribbons <laughs> just cutting, thinking that I got the right one. And it just depends on what kind of bow you want to make. But this is a not that big of a package, so I don't want to make a really big bow. Once you have the ribbon on, everything is like done. I just kind of make sure it's straight. So pretty. It's a very light gift. <laughs> <laughs> but those are the two that we did. And these two probably could go together. So if I use these two under the tree, these two prints, I would just buy regular black, not black, but like gold mm -hmm. or some of this blue. 
or orange to kind of bring in all your gifts because obviously you only have scraps we're working with scraps so you don't want to waste all fabric or buy a big roll of fabric because that's expensive yes. I barely want to buy paper <laughs> <laughs> so um, fabric pieces like this you could also probably fold and use as a bow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will that fit over there? It won't fit to tie, but you can make like another bow. Okay. So you can kind of do. Oh, that's not even coming off. <laughs> so you can kind of. That was a. Actually. It had glue on it, so that's why I folded it in half. So we're going to kind of follow that method and then just keep kind of gluing. And then, so like this. So. That's kind of all I did. You know what? Instead of tying it too, you could probably use the hot glue. And then just gather it in the center. Yeah, so you can just use the hot glue. Let's try that. This wasn't planned. It just kind of yeah. happened. I mean, that's how creativity works. But I hate to waste more fabric. It's not from when you're cutting the gifts. So why not use it all? And then on those um, plain color packages that we were talking about. So if you have like blue, you can add this bow to it and then it'll really tie it in. This won't matter because wherever you crinkle it at, it's going to be even. But you just want to make sure that it's like kind of where it doesn't move. So when you do crinkle it, you don't have to worry about doing anything. So I guess for all my bow tie makers out there, you'll you'll really be able to pick up on this technique because you know how to make a bow tie. Mm -hmm. So once you do this, then maybe we can do something like, yeah. See, there you go. You know, that could double as a hair bow too. It could. So what you could do is you can give this to your friends and tell them they can take it off the the top and put it in the hair. And they sell the clasp to slide in your hair at like Joanne Fabrics or if you're down south Hobby Lobby. And because we didn't glue all of it, you can kind of fluff it up too. Do we have like a just a small box? <laughs> so you can I would cut this too. So let me just go ahead and cut it. Make sure it's secure. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna cut it. If we didn't have this here, we could have put that on top. That would have been adorable. So, we can try it see how it looks. I personally would do a plain color bow on this one and then do the other bow on like a plain gift. That way you're really getting all the use out of your scraps, but then everybody gets a little on car. Because sometimes when I, when I do gifts, people are like, oh, I like this packaging better. <laughs> Because I normally have a theme every year for the gifts. This thank you for the hearts. Don't. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put it in the corner because I just think that's adorable. Once she said hair bow, I immediately thought like, oh, it should go in the corner. Like this. And kind of fluff it up. And honestly, just because this is like a cutesy bow, it also could go for like a guy gift too. And it's fabric, guys, so don't be afraid to, like, just, like, really get in there and start gluing. <laughs> <laughs> it's already scrap. You're not going to use it again. Right. But kind of just get in there and hold it. Glue it down where you need to. I never glue, like, down the whole thing because I just don't, I don't know, I just don't want people to have too hard time opening up their packages. But when you're doing things on the front, sorry, they open it up from the back anyway so it doesn't matter 
it's not like this is going to affect them getting it in. Thank you. Oh, hi, Nick. So, it's like really, really girly. I haven't brought no Christmas gifts yet, and I'm Thank already you. talking, thinking about how I'm going to do my gifts. That is so adorable. But yeah, so this is really, really pretty. This is a very lightweight gift because there's nothing in it. <laughs> I kind of wish it was. But, that way you don't have to do it again. Exactly. But now you have two different styles that still go together. I would still put these underneath the tree together. And then again, like I said, I would um, combine them all by just buying your either your last year's fabric or silver and gold. I keep saying fabric, but I mean wrapping paper mm -hmm. to tie it all in. So now that you have your like bow kind of fluffed out and everything, you can add different pieces, whether it's a gift or just something that you have laying around. This actually has the back, so we're just going to pin it on there like so. But if it's not, or if it's something that you just kind of picked up by the thrift sale or whatever, you can just hot glue it in the middle. But this is something that we have laying around, so we're going to add it in the middle of the gift. Um, what I like to do is, um, sometimes like I normally have like little soaps or something that I could put up here. I always let people know that it's real. <laughs> so they don't think that it's just like attached to the bow or anything. Because why let them waste it? you know it's not something that could be just pretty so just kind of just pin it just because this fabric is pretty easy um so just kind of pin it on there oops and I actually picked up this pin on sale at Joanne Fabrics oh perfect yeah and sometimes I buy stuff like like this randomly and you never know what you're going to use it for exactly. and then you know you figure by holiday time if you haven't used it add it to your gift mm -hmm. <laughs> or if you see stuff laying around like this you can always figure out a different way to wrap, wrap mm -hmm. it and now it's almost like two gifts in one because you have this big pretty gift on the front and then whatever is on the inside is their gift as well so that's it but thank you guys for watching and give us a thumbs up if you are loving this video and comment below if you tried this. Alrighty, see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.